Municipalities across the country, and particularly in the South, have passed city ordinances to keep undocumented immigrants and Latino citizens out of their city limits. In states like Texas and Florida, lawmakers have passed regulations that make it impossible to legally obtain basic utilities without a social security number or state ID. These laws are often veiled as a way to prevent fraud. But in truth, these requirements are designed to keep black and brown people out. In 2017, the National Immigration Law Center, the Georgia NAACP, Project South, and others sued the city of LaGrange for their law requiring a social security number to open a water account and for the practice to roll over unpaid fines and fees from municipal court onto a person's utility bills. In 2020, the city settled the lawsuit agreeing to stop these practices. But many cities continue these requirements. To open a water account in Florence, Georgia and in Temple, Texas, one needs to provide a picture ID and proof of a social security number. In Dotham, Alabama, you need a state ID to open a utility account. And of course, undocumented immigrants cannot get state IDs in Alabama. It is inhumane that anyone should go without water, that they should freeze without gas, or have to withstand simmering heat without electricity because of their immigration status or lack of access to these documents. These exclusionary policies also harm U.S. citizen children in these households. In other places, racism is found in the fine print. It shows up in things like parking regulations that limit the number of cars that can park in a house or bloodline occupancy policies that restrict how many people can live in single family homes by the bloodline relationships or occupancy standards that limit the number of people per bedroom. These rules clearly target Latino families who have high percentages of multi-generational households. But for all of their efforts, according to the Pew Research Center, the South had the fastest growth in Latino population since 2010. Overall, we accounted for half of the population growth in the U.S. over the last decade. We are here to stay and will continue to fight against impressive laws at every level of government. Get involved in your city council elections and advocate for inclusive practices to access utilities.